I'm Colin McGurran. For the last 15 years, I've owned and run my business, Michelin Star Restaurant with Rooms, Wintering and Fields. I'm planning to pass the reins on to my amazing team and take my family on our new floating home, the recipe. I want to embark on a journey of discovery to explore some new delicious foods, new styles of cooking and meet some other chefs. I'm eager to experience other cultures while educating my three girls as we go. I thought they were joking. I don't think I'm looking forward to a contrast to my day-to-day -day life. I'm looking forward to a new adventure. Well, the time has come. We are now on our, we've finished our last night passage. So this is a, we're all feeling upbeat. Even the dog, all tired. Um, beautiful sail. It's about 15 knots, all downwind. The sun's just popped up. It looks amazing. And I've just got my coffee. So I've got my coffee, I've got my pug, and I've got the sunset. Did I mention I caught a fish? <laughs> Me and my wife caught a fish. She was on watch. She heard the reel. She wrote me up. Pulled it in. Nice little wahoo. Mahi mahi, sorry, mahi mahi. Never had one before. Never caught one, never eaten one, never butchered one. So today for lunch, I hope I'm gonna do it justice. What do you reckon, Pug? What you reckon, Pug? Okay, I'm on the 12 to 4 shift and I've just had to do the unforgivable, which is waking up Colin in the middle of the night because we, um, the fishing lures went. Hey, Colin, did I have to wake you up in the middle of the night? Finally. <laughs> Beautiful mahi mahi. <laughs> beautiful colours, beautiful skin. Not a bad little boy for our size. Killed him with a bit of alcohol, a bit of vodka to the gills. Killed him by that. Looking forward to serving up some lunch tomorrow. Big lunch trophy. and eggy bread and cards and presents. What present? I got this watch which Daddy got me and Mummy and then I got a nomination bracelet and then I got lots of cards from my Auntie Ali and my Gags and Baba and um, Nana and Granddad. And now I'm yeah. having pancakes. Are you getting on, Jess? Good. I did all this today. 
Oh, it's a catamaran. Yep. It's just, there's nothing German about it. So this it. is the new recipe on board <laughs> the boat recipe, is we have tomato puree in a sandwich with a... Uh, Garnish with some salami. Uh, we got some red, red cabbage, right? That's red cabbage. Red cabbage, yeah. And uh, some cream cheese. Cream cheese. And now uh, I'm gonna um, roll it up with my Wait, nice sure um, silk flax hands. <laughs> it's been in working in chimneys. <laughs> right. In the steam engine rooms. So it's gonna be a nice and big one. And uh, let's see, I've never had that before, so let's see how it tastes. Mmm. 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 No words. Good, yeah? Yeah, it's better than the schnitzel. Way better. Mmm. That those tie together across your chest. It's quite a nice one though, isn't it? Squatter. How can you say that? We're in Africa, in a pretty poor country. I think this is an amazing display. Some ice would be good, just saying. close to falling off the cliffs and the roads are basically just pebbles stacked. It's actually quite nice, it's really cold. So what do you think about Cape Verde, uh, everything up here? It's, I like it, it's nice. Um, there's just like shrub layers, there's no actual trees or things like that. It's really volcanic and you can see all the lines of different soils in the land. <laughs> You just had the centre, which is where all the houses are, and it's pretty deserted up here. And he says there's a man who sells tea and coffee up here, so you can. It's a lot chillier up here than down there, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go and get some coffee. It's boiling hot down there, but it's freezing up here. Well, it was really good, and <laughs> then the wind got me. 
Oh, it's really cool. It's lovely to see around the island, and it's a beautiful island. At the moment, you know, you can see the volcanic island, and then this amazing Sahara sand that just gets blown over. It's just bizarre. And near where we are, there's a great beach. It's just crystal, crystal, white, white sand, and then blue, blue sea. It's beautiful. And the guide was saying that this isn't a popular island, obviously, tourist-wise, and you can see why. It's, it's quite a poor island, and we've been doing a lot of reading about it and walking around. It's just lovely, though. Um, yeah, you kind of think, God, they need some, they need some Hilton investment, <laughs> don't they? They need a couple of Marriott's <laughs> get the people here. But it is lovely people, great place. continue following our journey guys next week we leave Cape Verde and we take the plunge oh God, and we head across the Atlantic what an adventure see you next week <laughs>